What's up boys? Today I'm checking out the update to Vampire Hunters, the first person shooter survivors game. So they recently added a skill tree and I had a few points from when I checked it out last time. So I've got a little bit of damage when I take damage, some extra HP, extra HP, I gain blood when I take damage. And then I put a bunch in here to give me some healing when I level up since last time it seemed like I was just getting slowly worn down. And then there's some new characters I don't have any levels on yet, but I might check them out later. So just playing the guy I have at level 15 for now. So there's a new map, I can mess around with that. There's these constellations. All primary weapons that appear in the store will be the same as your initial one. And the same with secondary and passive, so that sounds like it should be useful. So I guess I'll take that. Then you can choose a couple starting guns. I think the orange ones are the only ones that you have unlocked for them currently, but you can unlock a bunch of stuff later with that. So we've got the machine gun, which will ramp up as you fire, or the shotgun pushes enemies back, or that doesn't have any special effects currently, but some of them gain new effects as they level up. So let's just go with the starter one there for now. I don't know what that is. I guess 15 HP for free. That's the artifact I unlocked at the start. So you can choose three of those, I suppose. So it's kind of FPS-y. You can jump around a little bit. I don't know what my blood skill does. I think it gave like movement speed or something. And then they drop souls you have to pick up, which are just XP. So we've got a level up here. If I grab this, it gets a new skill, which slows enemies. Sure, let's grab that. And now my weapon is a bit stronger. One thing I found an issue with last time, it was, it was kind of hard to keep track of all the enemies since Normally you're looking top down and can see them from every angle. Looks like we have a chest somewhere. Let's see if I can find out how to grab that. Looks like it's going up this thing. Get some shots off while I'm going over here. It doesn't seem like I can jump up there. Maybe I can go from in here somewhere. Looks like I'm just going to lose it even though I have no idea how to even get to it. If I can get onto that thing, that should do it. I can't jump through there. And I just fell through there and that sucks, but I have no idea how to even get over there, so... So we've got luck. Increases the chance of a weapon increasing in tier when it appears. Uh, that doesn't seem that helpful. When this kills an enemy, recover one second from your other secondary weapons. I don't have any secondary weapons right now. But I guess I could start on them since these are all secondaries. So it looks like it's kind of short range, it just stabs them. So we've got more weapons over here. This weapon gains fire rate when your HP is low for the machine gun, but it also gets some decent stats there, so let's go ahead and grab that. So as a new player, I don't really know which weapons are good, since you can't see all the upgrades they get. Projectiles pass through enemies, passive weapon. Sounds cool, let's grab a raven pet. I should see what my blood ability does. Looks like maybe fire rate? Honestly, not really sure. So, machine gun. Chance to reload when killing an enemy. Sounds good. So, there's my little raven. So, we've got a chest, and I think I know how to get it this time. See if I can punch through these guys real quick. So we've got crit, reload, combo time, ammo to primary weapons, which would be the machine gun. That has plenty of ammo, so let's grab the crit there. 
So it's somewhere over here. Wait, that's the other side. It looks like it was up here. Oh god. I don't know how to go over there now. Well, it was up somewhere, so... Let's climb some stairs and see what happens, I guess. Man, that feels so bad. Like, you head over there instantly and there's still not enough time. I guess I should be staying, like, high up so that I'm closer to them as they spawn. What is even hitting me? What? I don't know, Survivors just feels a little bit janky as, like, the first-person shooter perspective. It's just hard to catch everything. But I'm also bad at it, so... Let's see if we can actually get to this one. Okay, so there's a bit of a glow up there, so... Killing an enemy gains 10% more damage up to 5 times. That seems very good, so let's grab that. And let's just die instantly. Okay, that's a sick chest. Thank you. So we've got some progress towards constellations. Not sure that will help that much. Let's see if I got some more points to spend. Looks like I have 1 point, which probably won't really help. Yeah, I don't think I can really get anything there. Let's go back to the other map and see if that's a bit easier, maybe. Let's try the shotgun, see what that gets when it levels up. At least we have some AoE damage now. Okay, I guess it gives infinite ammo and maybe some reload speed on... or er, not reload speed, maybe some fire rate on top of that. Not exactly sure. So with the upgrade on that, I get more damage the closer the enemy, plus a bunch of stats over there. Let's try that out. And having that death reload on this would be extremely helpful. Alright, this seems like a pretty weak start. Didn't mean to do that. Let's get the... what does that do? Weapon damage until the end of the run when killing an enemy. That sounds pretty cool. Once per run, resurrect with 15%. I'm probably gonna die here regardless, but I definitely need some more damage. So I've got a cool secondary weapon that scales up as it kills stuff now. I'm going to try to stay in range of that so it just stacks up every time. That was a chest sound, wasn't it? Boss Slayer, more damage to bosses. Get some decent upgrades there. It reloads a bit faster and has more max ammo. Sure. So that's way over there somewhere. Oh, I can actually reach it. That's crazy. So Corpse Bomb, enemies explode on death. Sounds good. So we've got point blank on the sword, a piercing rat, an infection frog, passes debuffs. Sounds cool. Um, 
This improves the reload time, so that would stack up faster, which sounds nice. Last time I played, it seemed a bit smarter to get like a high up area so you could rotate between them and just kite enemies up there, like maybe up here. But again, that's just the best strategy that I could find at the time. I'm not sure what you're actually supposed to do. Try and get some AoE shots over there. Big werewolf boy, those guys are really hard to kill. And they're pretty fast as well. Looks like there's a potion. I guess I was able to shoot it there. I should probably use my cooldown and kill that guy. Get some big AoE shots over there. I did not see that guy, oops. And then let's rotate over to the other area and kite them up there. See if I can get the corpse explosion going off. There's a chest. Can't tell exactly where that is from here. So that just gets stat increases now, but the stat increases are decently useful. It doubles the number of pellets per shot. That seems like a big upgrade. So we've got another level on that or a new weapon. What do we got here? Plus one ammo. Less than 10% damage. Not a great upgrade, but I'm going to take that and see if the future upgrades are any good, since that could be pretty helpful. Let's see if I can grab that potion thing. Probably can't get back to the high ground over there. This gains boss slayer, lower cooldown, primary weapon ammo. That's actually not bad, since these shotguns are fairly low. And if I want to get more of them, that might actually be pretty helpful. So I'll try that out. So there's another area you can go somewhere over here. Let's see if I can do some damage on this guy with my boss layer and short range AoE. Kite while I'm reloading. Oh, that guy almost caught up to me. Push him back a bit. I'll put one more and see if the upgrades on that are any better, and then I'll grab a new weapon. Try and stay close to maximize the deeps. So I can get the upgrade there, a familiar, another one of those. Um, let's probably upgrade this one, so that this one will be super strong as it ramps up. Pushback is pretty nice on a ramp like this. What was that? Let's go ahead and blast some of these guys. Get some XP here. So it doesn't seem like I'm getting anything new for this and it's just getting some small upgrades. So let's grab a second shotgun now. So this will, when killing an enemy, 10% chance to cover 0.2%. Resurrect. Blessed Lightning, that sounds cool. Um, I think I want to grab the healing on this sword and help that ramp up more. So get a level on the second shotgun to start ramping that up. So once these guys start swarming this area, I'm going to need to look for a new high ground area. So let's do that before they get too bad over here. Go back over to the areas here. That area seems kind of blocked. Got a potion over here. 
Familiar Cat, time to time, grants you one random bonus, heal, recover ammo, souls, blood, or combo. That sounds pretty good. That would over time give me a bit of healing as well. As other useful stuff. That's a big boy. So pull them up through the ramp and then try and AoE them down. What am I taking? There's nothing close to me. Try to pull them up the ramp and AoE them down. Get a potion. Use my cooldown over there to cut a path. There's nothing on me! I legitimately can't tell what I'm taking damage from. See if I can get to that chest. Avoid that big boy. I don't know exactly how to get up there. Upgrade that shotgun. Curse sword, voodoo, soul chance. I think that's the XP stuff. Uh, probably another sword. If I can get some more healing, that would be pretty helpful. And I'm just randomly dead. Okay. Full moon shield. Didn't get any of those. You just kind of randomly die, it seems like. Shotgun seemed a bit better there. Let's see if we got anything here. Three points. Might be able to get something. Can't upgrade the healing any. Five ammo. Consume blood. Uh, kind of just want all the healing stuff, to be honest. Guess I'll upgrade that and see what happens. So, go there, try out a different weapon, see what they're like. Pirate cannon. One ammo, kind of long reload time. Hopefully it'll be decent. So it looks like that just gives me another one of those that I can put on. Okay, that does not seem great right now. Maybe it'll be better with upgrades. Looks like it has a bit of AoE at least, so we get boss slayer, double the ammo, some better other stats. Oh, it creates something on the ground over there behind them. What happens if I just shoot the ground? It doesn't shoot. So it looks like it leaves a mine on the ground. Okay, so we have that one. Let's see if I actually have time to get up there in time. There's no way I can jump up there. I might have been able to make that jump actually, which might have given me enough time. I don't think I can go through there. Uh, can I go? No, that's where I just was. There we go. So death reload, 10% chance to reload. Extra ammo, decent stat upgrades over there. So it seems to leave some sort of mine on the ground that can explode a bit later as well. So frog, infection. Let's try the lightning since that sounds cool. I guess I should probably be funneling them up through ramps now, so I can AoE them down. It's gonna be hard to collect the XP though, I'll probably have to kite them somewhere else to get that. Let's go ahead and pop that to try and kill this guy quickly, but it doesn't really seem to be helping much. Um, horizontal shot, more projectiles horizontally. Okay, sounds cool. A little bit of damage on top of that. Go up a different ramp to funnel them through there. So 
So that one is over there. It looks like I can get there from here. So that just gets some stat upgrades. It gets a lot of ammo though. Decent damage in reload time. Not bad. Looks kind of cool with all the shots through them like that. So, bunch of small stat boosts, SAM gun, guided explosion radius, sounds kind of cool. What exactly does shield do? Doesn't tell me, but I'm kind of getting like rotted down, so I'll try that out and see how it works. Funnel them through the ramp, see how that does. Got another one of those guys who's insanely strong. Mines can probably deal with some of the guys down there, but I am not doing much to these guys. Just head back over here and get some AoE damage out. I really can't jump up that seriously. I wonder if I can get some of that XP over there. That was a lot of kills. So that looks like it's got most of the stuff unlocked. I'm gonna put a level there and see if I get anything else cool. Electrify. I've been damaged to other nearby enemies every three seconds. Sounds pretty cool. Shield generator. Shield equal to half their total damage plus a percentage of health. That sounds pretty useful. I'm kind of dying, so let's grab that. So it doesn't seem like that's getting anything new, so let's grab another one. Another level one, some low passive stats. Uh, I guess I'll just take that. So that one is over there. I need to go up that one. Upgrade our second pirate cannon, so I need to get onto that ramp right there. Oh, I cannot go that way. Oops. I cannot go that way. So that should be it. Boss has appeared, so I'm probably dead. Get the level on that cannon. Shield generator, armor, how does that work? Just straight up 1% reduction. Probably get the extra survivability here since I'm dying. Upgrade our second cannon. I'm not sure where the boss is. Probably want to move around a bit in case he has some sort of projectile or something. That's probably him creating that big aura up there. But I'm not sure how I would hit him. Let's see if I can get some high ground and look around a bit. Oh, that must be him over there. Let's see if I can jump around a bit and get a good shot on him. Use the cooldown for some extra damage. Looks like he teleported to I have no idea where. Is that him? I don't think so. So he's creating some sort of totem that's creating an area there, but I don't know where he is. And I somehow slipped off there. Looks like he's just spamming totems everywhere, but I can't find him. Let's get some XP over here. Shield generator. Lightning. Let's go ahead and grab that. That seems like a pretty good upgrade with three times the lightning and other sets on top of that.
There he is. I don't know if I can get over there in time to do some damage. Totem right there. Be careful about that. And it's, it seems really hard to find him and get damage on him. There he is, let's use the cooldown. I did not see that fast guy coming right up there and then he teleported over there. It is really hard to hit this guy. I can't even see that guy's HP and he seems pretty tanky. See if I can kill that totem. Probably has some sort of healing effect since it's screen. Try and get some big damage on this guy. Probably need to kill the totems. Grab some XP over here. Uh, that's the main one that's not getting that much from the upgrades. I can't level up the other one. I guess I'll grab a third one. Let's see if I can kill that green totem. And I'm just randomly dead even though there was nothing next to me right there. <laughs> I don't know, this game is just not, like, meshing well with me, it just seems impossible to me. I have four more points, but that's not going to make much difference. Let's try out a different character here. So let's try the Paladin, since they're supposed to have pretty good survivability. Flamethrower didn't seem that great last time. Lightbringer sounds cool, let's try that. So it has an explosion radius, exploding machine gun I guess. So it adds weakness, reduces damage dealt, decent stat increases, sure. Blessed lightning shield generator, ammo is going to be bad on these. Uh, let's grab the survivability since I'm just getting rotted down over time. Let's see if the blood skill does the same thing. It seems like it. So I guess all the classes have the same thing there. Running out of room up there, kite them somewhere else. Try and get big AoE shots with the explosion radius on it. So that's over there somewhere. Probably can't run that way. So many enemies there. See if I can go through here. So that adds ricochet to it. it. Sounds good with the explosion. Seems like my single target is going to be pretty bad for that werewolf, though.
kite that guy away. So sharpened vision, damage by distance. So it'll be more of a sniper weapon. Some decent stat boost, sounds pretty good. So I'll want to go for long range hits now. So we've got Resurrect, a Raven combo, Reload. Let's go with the Resurrect, I guess. It seems like you need all the survivability you can get in this game. Try and get all the damage on the Werewolf I can. Nice location for that. Shooting a health potion imbues it, deal damage around to where it lands and increases the healing, as well as the stat increases. So shooting a potion does more healing and explodes now. So stat boost, I'll put one more level, see if that gets anything else, probably doesn't. Try and get the werewolf down. Use the cooldown thing. Kite over there. So resurrect, shield generator. Let's grab the survivability there. And then get some big AOE shots over there. And then I guess I could maybe kite around here. If I don't fall off, that is. It's really hard to get damage on that guy. Should be some big souls over here. Looks like that one's probably done, so let's grab another one. Shield generator, Lux holes, get some survivability there. I'm just randomly dead without even getting hit. I don't know, it just feels like I've barely even gotten hit and I'm about to die. Let's upgrade the... that's the first one that has all the stuff, so I'd have to get another weapon. It's actually a pretty good damage increase, almost 30%, so I guess I will grab that. So resurrect, collect HP, damage... These just all seem so unimpactful. I guess I'll grab some collection to help me level up. Use that, get some long range shots on the werewolf. I'm just randomly dead without even getting hit. Cool. Let's see what skill tree stuff I can get for the paladin. I have four points, which doesn't sound impactful. Shift to perform a stomp after jumping great heights. Light thorns when you take damage. Armor, max HP, shield. Some HP region over there, that might help. So grab that, the area. Oh, that's completely locked, sick. Can't even do that, cool. So I guess I'll take the shield and see if that helps. Armor by 2%, damage by 4%, may as well. So let's see if there are, well let's turn that off 
and see if there are any decent weapons that I don't have unlocked. Let's see, Lightbringer was okay. Let's try the launcher. Grab the artifacts. Like, that's kind of the issue I felt with this game the first time. It doesn't really feel like I'm getting better, because I'm just dying to not even being hit, really. So I'm not sure how I can improve on that. Try and get the AoE damage over there. Let's just use that and farm some XP here. So we get burn, damage over time, double ammo, some other stats. I also don't know like what bonuses they get at higher levels, so I don't really know what weapons would be decent. So we've got a passive weapon, but the cat sounds really useful, so let's grab that. So Pulse Gun Slow, I can grab Boss Slayer, some nice ammo and other stats for that. Slow the target until it's frozen. Let's grab the boost to that. I can't even move there. Plus one ammo. That's increasing decently, so it might not be super useful. A whip, combo, or crit. These just seem so weak for a level up. Like, I guess I should probably just grab another weapon, but it has a pretty long reload time. Sniper, Lightbringer, fire more projectiles sounds great. Kite those guys somewhere else. Got a chest somewhere nearby. Launcher, more projectiles horizontally and vertically. Sounds good. Decent stat increases. Okay, that's kind of sick. See if I can sneak through there. Shield, guided explosion, ammo, familiar. I'm not sure what shield does still though. Maybe that's the bar under my HP. Let's pop that while I can get some big AoE and hit that guy. Okay, that was pretty solid at least. Um, bit of damage, ammo, I'll... Cycles through all of that stuff, that sounds pretty cool. Let's grab that while it's there, actually. Try that out. Sounds cool. Oh yeah, I have that. That was kind of cool. My stomp thing. I thought you would need to get really high for it, but it, you can actually just do it off a regular jump, it looks like. Alright, let's try it! So, I can get two random bonuses. Uh, let's just get a second one and lock that in. 
and then try to level those up and that should give some big passive bonuses over time I would think. So I have to find the ramp over here to get that. So elemental pistol gets death reload, that seems pretty good. Uh, I don't have anything else that I was leveling here, so let's grab that. Grab all the souls over here. Elemental pistol gets ricochet. Sure. Familiar cat. Bat bat. Dragon whip. Collection distance. Let's pump the cats for the bonuses they give. That will actually give me a little bit of healing over time. Boss slayer. A little bit of damage. I guess. Where was that werewolf? I'm going to do a big stomp here, I think. Boom. Uh, let's grab the cat upgrade. Okay, that stomp actually was really cool. Use the blood thing there to kill those guys. Another one of those, see what we got there. Try and collect some souls here, I think. Elemental pistol. Doesn't gain anything, but it gets quite a bit of ammo in some other sets. Fibers and fire rate, sounds kind of cool. Trying to get like some big AoE shots to maybe farm some souls here. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about my new ability. Exposed, more damage from all sources. There's an uncommon collect distance over there. So let's grab that I suppose. Help me grab the XP without taking damage. Elemental pistol, some small bonuses. Let's probably grab a new weapon here. Electric chain sounds cool, haven't tried that yet. Okay, we got some chain lightning now. I dig it. Go for the stomp and do some souls. All enemies deal 20% more damage. I guess it does give me a lot of damage, so I probably do need to take that anyways. Electric chain. Probably, plus ricochets is pretty good. Bunch of other stats on top of that. Let's probably burst those guys down. Heals 50% but no longer perform combos. Cover one second cooldown from your other secondary. That would be the whip. Um, I guess once I upgrade the whip and get the exposed thing on it, that will be pretty good. Got some passable AoE now. That's all the way over there. See if I can go through here. Electric chain, sure. Another ricochet and some stats there. 
Electrify. Weapon damage to other nearby enemies. Some okayish stats. Werewolf over there. Some damage on him. What happens if I stomp him? Oh, that knocks him flying, sick. Grab these souls and go to the other side. Exposed would be pretty helpful. Sure. Got the other thing that will occasionally lower its cooldown. Stomp them. This build doesn't seem too bad so far, so I might be able to to die to the boss here, at least. Electric Chain, reloading, grant its damage value as a bonus to all weapons of the same hand. So that would buff the stuff over here, and I can get three other weapons for that. Sure. Doesn't seem like there's any potions anywhere. Oh yeah, I do have two higher level cats that will occasionally heal me at least. Let's pop that and blast that guy. Probably grab the souls. Quite a bit of them building up over there. Sting. Bleed. Additional blood. I don't know that I have any way to inflict bleed though. Increase the duration of blood skill. Uh, would be alright. I think I'm just gonna boost the cat. So I don't get worn down over time. Try to maximize my heal chances with that. Kick those guys out of here. See, that looks like it's the thing up in the air, so I need to find the ramp for that. Which I think I just passed. Yeah, there we go. Got launcher, small amount of damage. Let's go for another electric chain, since that seems pretty good. Got the electric chain there. Upgrade that. Stop these boys. Take a ton of damage without even getting hit. Are there any health potions? Doesn't look like it. Let's kite to a different area. I guess just uses that to kick them away and just randomly die without even getting hit. Yeah, the game just has a bit of an issue with causing a ton of damage to you when you aren't even getting hit. And there's just not a lot of healing to recover from that, it feels like. 
Let's see, what could I get for the Paladin here? I wanted to get the healing, but that's just locked by something that doesn't even seem obtainable. That would be very helpful, but again, it doesn't seem like you can even get that resource. I could get a bit more shield, I guess. And a bit more HP, but you just slowly get worn down over time. It's an interesting concept, and I don't hate it. I just can't seem to get into it for some reason. So that's going to be it for now. That's Vampire Hunters. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.